Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarb al -Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Number 48 for the year 2019, establishing and forming a committee to follow up the implementation of bilateral agreements and memorandums of understanding signed between the government of Bahrain and the government of Turkmenistan. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Decree Number 12 of 2019, endorsing Bahrain's joining the amended document of establishment of the Global Environmental Fund, which was restructured on September the 15th of 2014 and endorsed by the Parliament and associated with this law. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Decree Number 13 of 2019, endorsing Bahrain's joining the Treaty on Principles governing the activities of states in the exploration and use of outer space, including the Moon and other celestial bodies. The law endorses Bahrain's joining the treaty approved by the United Nations General Assembly Resolution 222221, dated December the 19th of 1966, associated with this law. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today ratified and issued two laws which had already been approved by the Shura and Representatives Councils. According to Law Number 14 of 2019, His Majesty the King ratified an agreement between Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates for air services between and beyond their respective territories. In Law 15 2019, His Majesty the King ratified an agreement between Bahrain and Brunei Dar es Salaam for air services between and beyond their respective territories. The two agreements were signed in Bahrain on November the 14th, 2018. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received today the Polish Deputy Foreign Minister Maciej Lang on his official visit to Bahrain. During the meeting, the Minister welcomed the visit of the Polish Deputy Foreign Minister to Bahrain, expressing his satisfaction at the progress of the cooperative relations between Bahrain and Poland, which reflects their joint interest in expanding the means of bilateral cooperation and the development of coordination means between the two countries on various levels. For his part, Masiej Lang expressed pride in meeting Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed, affirming Poland's keenness on strengthening cooperation and coordination with Bahrain and developing the friendly relations between them in various fields. He praised Bahrain's efforts in consolidating peace and stability, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Education, Majid bin Ali Naimi, met with a number of members of the municipal councils of various governorates in the presence of a number of ministry officials. The minister briefed them with the ministry's evacuation plan of eight old government schools during the next academic year after reviewing reports on its structural status, clarifying the procedures and alternatives taken to continue the educational process, in addition to reviewing the maintenance of schools to upgrade their capacity and equip them to to receive students. The minister said that the evacuation of those schools is necessary because the safety and security of students is considered a priority, noting that the ministry has developed a plan to provide seats for all students and the distribution of administrative and educational bodies as needed. The minister pointed out that new schools and educational buildings in various governorates will be opened in the next academic year, including the Sheikh Moza bin Hamad Al Khalifa Comprehensive School for Girls in the Southern Governorate, which is the first of its kind at the level of public schools, a new elementary school for girls in Hamad Town, a new building at El Salam Primary School for Girls in Jet House, a new academic building at the West Rafa Primary School, and a new academic and administrative building in El Muharraq Primary School for Girls. During the meeting, a number of ministry officials presented a comprehensive presentation on the evacuation of schools in various governorates, during which they explained the ministry's alternatives and procedures to the educational process. The Chief Executive Officer of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority and Chairman of the National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons, Osama Abdul Al Abbasi, highlighted the Kingdom's maintenance of its Tier 1 status in the 2019 U.S. Department of State Trafficking in Persons the TIP report. It is considered a major historic achievement which builds on the Kingdom's inclusion as a Tier 1 country in the 2018 TIP report, the first time a MENA region country 
was granted this honor. El Absi noted that this achievement represents major international recognition of the kingdom's role in efforts to further develop a secure environment for workers. These continued efforts have contributed to upgrading the kingdom's trading from under observation in 2014 to tier 2 in 2015 until reaching the highest possible rating, tier 1, in 2018. The CE further noted that despite the international recognition of Bahrain's achievements, the kingdom will not rest on its laurels. The kingdom faces new and bigger challenges, including a dedication to maintaining its privileged position as a world leader in tackling and preventing human trafficking crimes in all of its forms.